career, but he did drive a Ford Sierra for a short while, and at one point he got behind the wheel of a vintage Ford Falcon. As this photograph shows, Brocky drove a Ford GTHO as part of a magazine shoot with fellow racing legend Colin Bond. And it's that classic car, still in its original condition, that was later bought by a self-confessed petrol head. Today, it's worth more than anyone could ever imagine. Are you looking for a good used car? This low mileage, carefully driven 1971 Ford Falcon is on the market and could be yours for a measly $1 million. On the back accelerates the GTHO to something around 140 miles per hour. Down Crazy down. asking price? No, because this car's sister won Bathurst 37 years ago. And that makes this one, in original, pristine, totally unrestored condition, a very rare legend. Meet the Falcon GTHO Phase 3. Mullet's nearest opponent is over a lap behind. And it was very, very hard to find a car that was unmolested, original, one owner, with the books, that hadn't been thrashed. Because, I mean, these were factory, virtually race cars. I mean, Paul Carfew paid $40,000 for it back in 1988 after searching for years. They were way ahead of their time. I mean, you know, they were the fastest four-door production car in the world for decades, remembering four-door, not two-door. When it was brand new, the beast sold for $5,159.40. For that, you got 270 kilowatts of V8 brute force. Not to 106 seconds, what you didn't get was power steering, air conditioning, an FM radio, or a left-hand mirror. That was an option back in 1971. And this great big throbbing bit of metal that you can see out of the inside of oh, the car, yeah. shaking as it stopped. And... I have to have a go. After all, this car is history. It just, it still feels like a beast, even at this speed, though. You know, you can feel the potential. It's a thoroughbred. It wants to get up and go. The golden miles before of the 300 GTHO Phase 3s ever built, many of those that weren't crashed or thrashed were stolen and stripped. Paul reckons there might be only another two or three surviving in original condition. He doesn't even like washing this one. Might hurt that original paint or those badges. Stored cars have been going for around the $750,000 mark. I've obviously put a figure on this that, that I was happy with to sell it, uh, which is a million dollars. Um, and I'm actually having second thoughts about selling it. Every man has his price, so we brought him to a Porsche showroom to test him. You're thinking of trading in this beautiful car? What have you got? Well, I've got four cars. Sean Ligo lined up a million dollars worth of his high-tech, high-speed art to try to tempt him. Carrera, Cabriolet, Cayenne and 911 Turbo. A straight swap. These four for the 36-year-old Falcon. Now that's a fair deal. Do you think he will do the deal I think he I think he could and I'd like to talk to him and see if I can persuade him the smile on his dial grew ever wider but in the end he said he'd think about it he loves this beast 